Hello and welcome to another tutorial. And today's tutorial is going to be about Google Lighthouse. Google Lighthouse is basically an open sourced free tool uh, created by Google or owned by Google currently that lets you look at the performance of your website and the page load speeds of your website. This is really good if you want to look at how well optimized your website is or how well calibrated your website is or just how user-friendly your website is in general. So one important thing to know is that uh, Google Lighthouse is open sourced, so it can be used on any website. Um, you know, it can be used on your website, but also on any other website. But generally speaking, it's probably the most useful, most beneficial, and just makes the most sense to use it on your website because you'll be able to take that information and make changes with it and roll with it and kind of um, uh, make strides from that. So in this situation, um, I don't own the UPS website or I don't have access to it, but in this situation, let's pretend like we do uh, just because it is a pretty common openly used website. So in this situation, I'm going to go ahead and uh, open my website. In this situation, you should open your website on your end. So I'm going to go ahead and hover my cursor here and right click it and go all the way down here to inspect. So once I'm on inspect, I'm going to, and uh, by the way, I'm using a Google Chrome browser. So I don't know if this works on browsers like Safari or Firefox because of the Google connection. So maybe you want to stick to using Google Chrome. So in this situation, let's um, look at the elements up here. And on their far right, we have a lighthouse. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on lighthouse. And over here, we see the option to generate a lighthouse report. So before I go ahead and generate it, there's just a couple things I wanna walk you guys through here. So on the far left, we have some options to look at. I'm gonna stick with the default navigation option. Over here in the middle, we have mobile and desktop. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just run desktop because this is a desktop site. But, um, you know, I highly recommend, you know, if you have your own website, I highly recommend just running both reports because the mobile version of your website is going to be just as important, if not sometimes more important than your desktop website. So in this situation, I'm going to stick to desktop, but I highly recommend looking at your mobile version as well. And over here on the right, we have a couple of categories, uh, performance, accessibility, best practices, SEO, progressive web app. This is, uh, this is something where, you know, if you only want to look at performance, you can only select performance and deselect the rest. But generally speaking, those, these reports don't take too much time to load. Uh, in my experience, they take about a minute, maybe slightly under, maybe slightly over. So checking all five boxes, in my opinion, isn't a hassle or really isn't a problem. In fact, it's more beneficial because you derive more information from it. So I'm going to go ahead and analyze page load now that I'm happy with all my selections here. So I'm going to click on analyze page load. Page load. And this will take, like I said, a little bit over a minute, a little bit under a minute, or just about a minute. So I'm going to come back when the uh, report is generated and the audit is complete. Okay, and here we are. So welcome to the Google Lighthouse report. This is what um, the report looks like and what it tells you. So generally speaking, we got a 33 for performance, which is what we're looking at for page load speed in particular. So this isn't too great of a result because as you can see here, we have a couple thresholds that we should meet. Uh, so between 0 and 49 is uh, the lower tier, between 50 and 89 is kind of average, and 90 and 100 is the green spot or where you want to be technically. So this isn't too promising for the UPS website, but for other factors that we're looking at, your know, accessibility is 100, which is great. A lot of people use this website, so it's super important that it's accessible. Uh, best practices are met. Generally speaking, you know, 83 it could be higher, but 83 could be a lot worse. And uh, 100 for SEO, which is great as well. But I don't think UPS really has issues with, with people finding their website on search engines. So we're going to scroll down here and take a look at a couple of pointers here. So, you know, we're seeing a couple of tips with, uh, you know, content. You know, it's probably telling us to reduce file size or reduce image size selling us to reduce the impact of third-party code. You know, that's a big item that's slowing it down. You know, our images do not have explicit width and height. You know, that should be adjusted. You know, 
as you can see here, there are a couple things that can't be acted on immediately. There are certain things that take a little more experience or a little more, or are a little more complicated to fix. So this will really vary by website. You know, your, your website may have really good hosting and really poor images, or you could have really good images and really poor hosting. So this really depends on uh, what your website result is. So from here, I hope you now have the tools and the and the uh, expertise to kind of run your own Google Lighthouse report and make changes from there. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful and insightful. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to check out the other tutorials on our channels as well uh, that look at um, improving your web presence and to look at improving reporting or your digital marketing. So feel free to always watch those tutorials. And once again, thank you for watching.